Let's see what it is. Ugh, that's really oily. Let's see what it is. It looks like there is a socket, an Allen screw. That's devious of them. So there's a bolt here and a bolt here and then a socket screw. Why would they do that? Okay, so we need an Allen wrench for that one. Ugh. I'm gonna get my Allen wrenches all nasty too. Let's see if we can get that out of there. Naturally it's not. It's not going to come nicely. There. Okay. Now I can feel the stepper motor. Now the other thing they've warned me about in the videos is if the ratio control valve is working properly, it's almost like it's spring-loaded. So when I take this off here, it's likely to spring back. Yep, that's what it is. So there's the stepper motor. And there is a resistance test you can do on these things. But if that ratio control valve is free, moving freely, I'm going to just replace it. And it is. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So, I don't know. Can you get up under here, Tan? Try. So this is the little lever that hooks to the stepper motor that moves that ratio control valve. And it is moving freely. So that means it's knocked our, our diagnosis down to two out of three things rather than three out of three. So it's not the ratio control valve. So it's either the stepper motor or the speed sensor. So we're praying it's the stepper motor because if it is, I have a replacement for that. And the, the praise is that it's not the, the ratio control valve is moving freely and I did not have another one of those. So we're going to replace the stepper motor. Woo, we may be on to something.